This is Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. Thank you so much for tuning in as we cruise towards the end of 2017. Yes. Scary to think. It's, uh, you know, it's just, it happens. You know, the, uh, the the season sneaks up on you and the madness, you know, we're just talking about all the different holiday parties that are out there, all the different events that you have to go to. And, you know, I don't know if we add to the stress of, of people who are... Um, who are trying to get everything done, but are are we're giving you events that are you know fun? Yeah. So that's that's the whole point of this. So if you if you're listening to this and you're thinking, oh Jesus, so many things to do. Everything we talk about is fun. So just 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 remember that exactly. This is a fun podcast. And if you do find a- that you do a free time and you have FOMO and you wish you were doing some things this time of year, especially this weekend. We've got you covered. Oh, absolutely. We've got absolutely. you covered, guys. So, so where are you at with your holiday shopping? Ooh, I am, I'd say, halfway done, which is so unlike me. I'm usually completely done by Halloween. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I still need to get something for my parents. I need to get something for my father-in-law. My kids are pretty much all set. We're not doing too much for them. They're, they're young, so yeah. we can kind of get away without doing too much. And we're really focusing this year on the season of giving okay. with them. Good. So, actually, we're going to be doing some shopping with their money, um, even just like at the dollar store or something, sure, yeah, so no, that they can but, learn how to shop. No, I think that's a, I think that's a great thing. That's a, that's a good thing to do. I am like about halfway, I would say. Okay, you know, that's um, good. you know, in all fairness, my wife takes care of the majority of it with the kids. She is like this crazy she's bargain shopper. Yeah, she she she's got stuff. She's got gifts on gifts ready to go. <laughs> uh, but she she's got yeah. She's I, I don't know where she's at, and I. I I, I don't ask because I don't want to put the pressure on her. That's good. Uh, that's so good. you know she she she's got it. She knows where she's she's at with that. But uh, yeah, so that's that. I've got two book events coming up this Tell weekend. Me more. I will be at the Bristol Library on Saturday Ooh. in the afternoon for the uh, story time, and then on Sunday I will be at the Middletown Barnes and Noble. So if anybody's in that area from noon to two, doing book signing, it's a fundraiser for the Mount Hope High School um, their twenty twenty class, which is. 2020 class. How can we even handle that? I can't even handle the class of 2020. I know. Well, it's only a few week, few years away. I mean, literally three years away. <laughs> yes. you, you've been busy, though, with the makeup business. Yes. Minute with Mary has been rolling. You can find out more by searching the hashtag Minute with Mary on Facebook. But yeah, I've been having a lot of fun helping people feel more confident, learn about different little makeup and skincare tips. I mean, tis the season, as you said, for holiday parties, for seeing people. So I've been busy. I've been having people over my house doing one-on-one consultations. It's been fun because it's a talent that I didn't really know was a talent and <laughs> now i'm able to help others feel better about no, that's themselves good. that's huge it's huge so listen if you tuned in while you're on the road working maybe you're listening to mary or watching mary put uh do <laughs> makeup and learning how you can uh yourself uh do the the right shade of of whatever look at you yeah I look just, at you. I, I dropped the word shade and we're all impressed <laughs> hey listen sit back enjoy the episode if you hear something that piques your interest we'll have all the links and info for you in the show notes on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. This week's Wicked Interesting has such an interesting name, Ben. Yes. Tell me what it is. What would you expect from the 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 Rhode Island legend Frank O'Donnell? Right. It is a Christmas Carmella. Carmella. Its performances are happening December 8th, 9th, 15th, and 16th at 7.30 p.m. Those are Fridays and Saturdays. And Sundays, December 10th and 17th at 2 p.m. at the Rise Playhouse in Woodsocket. And, uh, you know, he's done this whole series of, of plays. They're comedy plays. Frank O'Donnell, for those who don't know, is is a hilarious Rhode Island comedian mm-hmm. who has connections all up and down uh, the the various uh, comedic and Hollywood ties that you could ever imagine. He puts together this series, uh, and and he's done you know Antony Claus, Antony Claus Two. It's it's hilarious. So this is all premised around 
the uh, they want to hear a Christmas carol one more time. Okay, the kids, the, the yeah. grandkids. But Grandma gave the book away years ago. So what does Grandma do? She improvises. Oh yes. So you mix a foggy memory with a vivid imagination of a lively senior citizen, and you've got a Christmas Carmela. Beautiful, darling. And the storyteller is none other than Carmela Zuccaro Facaccia. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as the mother-in-law of Antony Claus, with nice. her grandchildren, Sonny and Holly, at her feet, Carmela concocts a wondrous tale, bringing characters to life in a mishmash of Monty Python's more so than Dickens. I kind of so, love this. It's it it's the whole thing. You know, he's done these series for a number of years, and this is probably the last time he's going to be uh, running this uh, this series with okay. him at the helm. He, okay. You know, he's looking to pass it off. So. Uh, you know, they're returning to the Rise Playhouse, which is the birth of Antony Claus, which happened, mm-hmm. you know, uh, a few years back. They do a wonderful job there. They always have three things. Um, they're going to be retiring a Woonsocket stable, Mark Anderson, after more than 30 years in performing arts in the region. Uh, Mark is hanging up his theater masks uh, by reprising uh, one of his favorite rules, which is Scrugini, which you can learn more about uh, <laughs> during a Christmas Carmela. And, of course, you know, Frank O'Donnell, again, a wonderful Rhode Island uh, Staple. Yeah, it really is. He, he's he's legendary in the state. He's done a lot of great things uh, through the foundation, uh, you know, founded uh, in honor of his daughter and his his daughter's friend. Uh, just they do so many wonderful things. So check it out. It's happening uh, for the next two weekends. A Christmas Carmela. You learn more about it by clicking the link on our our Facebook and our website. That is our wicked interesting pick of the week. And now here's the wicked fun in the four hundred one. <laughs> the season to be jolly, but if you live in the ocean state, it's the, tis the season to be jolly by the water. Absolutely. So I want to let you know that there are boat rides with Santa going on this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. You get to climb aboard a 30-minute holiday boat ride with Santa. He's going to be listening to your Christmas wishes. You get to cruise throughout Water Place, Riverwalk, and the Providence River. There's going to be complimentary holiday treats and cocoa uh, just to keep you you nice and warm. And you get to take some free pictures with Santa. So the rides are going to depart from the gondola docks. Do you like that? I almost said that incredibly Rhode Island. That's all good. The gondola docks. Um, this is, of course, done by the Providence Riverboat Company. Yeah, Dear people. friends of ours, you know, you yeah. get to interview um, Captain Tom. Yep. Uh, your carpooling with Ben, a great family run company who, you know, they have the boat rides throughout the summer and the fall and the spring and people do different events there with them and they take them often during, you know, water fire. But this is a different take. This is with Santa. And of course, it is just five minutes from the Providence Place Mall. This is one of the favorite days of the season. Totally full and fun of holiday cheer. It's a great way to uh, do something different. And as I said, do it on the water with, with Santa on the boat ride. Yeah, you can't beat it right there and in down to Providence. And the cool thing is a lot of those businesses are set up for with decor and stuff. So it's a different way to see Providence, especially mm-hmm. in the wintertime uh, with all the lights and everything. So that'll be cool. Uh, the Warren, Rhode Island Central Fire Company will be hand, uh, hosting their annual, the annual, Combining words here this morning that you never thought could be combined. They will be hosting their annual Breakfast with Santa this Sunday, December 10th, from 7 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at the Warren Fire Department headquarters. That's right uh, near the police station on mm-hmm. uh, on Crow Street, Joy Street. You know, you can find it. Follow the sirens. There will be continuous seating throughout the times. Adults are $12 a person. Children are $6 a person. It's a buffet-style breakfast spread. You can take photos with Santa. You can buy tickets right at the door. You don't have to make reservations. Um, but it, it's a wonderful time. And there's fire trucks there. The kids can see the, the you know, climb aboard the fire trucks if the weather's nice. And, uh, you know, so what's better than that? Fire trucks, Santa snow. Claus, and breakfast. Might be just a dusting. I you, like that. Well, that that's, yes, sure. That's It's wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a word with my man, Mark Searles, over there at a... Uh, WJAR, so right? to <laughs> remedy that situation. No, I like the dusting. Dustings are beautiful. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's the first one, though, that everybody forgets how to drive it's, in. That's true. That <sighs> is true. All right, I'll stop being Grinch. What else is coming up? <laughs> uh, Saturday from 10 to 6, I want you to think about checking out the Rhode Island Convention Center. The Art Providence Holiday Show is going to be taking place. Now, this is going to be a place where you can celebrate fine art and craft and design. There's going to be over 
200 artists wow. from New England and beyond. It replaces the uh, prestigious RISD Holiday Show. So a lot okay. of you might remember the RISD Holiday right. Show. Yep. Um, that had a wonderful 20-year run. But now it's even bigger. It's even bigger. Be- better. Once Better. again, look at us with our words today. That's yeah, all right. We need some holiday cocoa. My goodness. So maybe you're in the need for some holiday shopping. You might be like myself and realize that you still need some things on your Christmas list. Or maybe you're looking to decorate your house a little bit because they have a lot of interior design options there. Or maybe you're just an art collector. There is something there for all of you. Children age 16 and under can make their own masterpiece in a special crafting area just for kids. There is a VIP preview night on Friday. Friday, which includes beverages, hors d'oeuvres, a special gift, and you get to have the first look at the artist's work. So um, all this looks fantastic. But if you're an art lover, if you just want to go somewhere warm on mm-hmm. Saturday, since that is the day that those little flurries might be falling, you're going to want to check this out. Once again, it's happening at the Rhode Island Convention Center. Awesome. Mary, you talked about the, uh, you know, you're working with the, the kids and teaching them you know, the, the lesson of giving and everything. Mm-hmm. Well, as always, the U.S. Marines Toys for Touch drives are happening. Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses, the 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 30-plus-year sponsor uh, throughout southern New England, they are doing their big toy drives. Of course, you can donate a toy anytime that Cardi's is open, so they're open, you know, seven days a week. But they have their special toy drives coming up, one of which is happening uh, if you're listening to this on the day we down, we you can download it uh, Thursday, December seventh, in South Attleboro from eight a.m. to twelve p.m. Uh, it'll be with Cat Country ninety eight point one and Santa Claus, our good friend buddy Santa George will be there. That is a a wonderful thing. You could just drive up and drop off, or you can get out, come in, take photos, hang around, check out the store, whatever. And then on Saturday, December 9th, from nine a.m. to noon, they have their their three simultaneous. Toy drops, drive through toy drives happening in West Warwick with Kristen Lassard from B101. Nice. South Attleboro with Rob Anthony from Coast 93.3. Mm-hmm. And Scarpetti will be in Swansea uh, with 94HJY. All this over is, the place. Yeah, no, they, they cover it well. Of course, you know, listen, they got 20 locations. Actually, they are opening their newest location in Seabrook, New Hampshire this weekend. So congratulations to them. Uh, they have uh, locations all throughout Cape Cod, you know, over to Plymouth, they have a location in Middletown, you all could throughout drop Rhode off Island. Any of them? Any of them? Okay. Right up until uh, right up until Christmas Eve. Awesome. And uh, obviously, the the sooner the better. They ask that the toys be not wrapped, so keep them so that the Marines can look at them and put them in the the right area, you know, age wise right and kid. also, yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, the other thing I didn't realize is, you know, they 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 kind of try to make the the distributions. Uh, even in a financial sense to a degree. Tell me more. Uh, so they want to make sure that one child doesn't get like two Xboxes mm-hmm. and, you know, all those high-end games and then the next house gets uh, the the less expensive, you the know, the, the, the board games and crayons, right. Yeah. So they need to they need to look at that. They're, they have a whole system that they go through working with local charities. Of course, Cardi's Furniture has been with them. You know, they handle the trucking. They have the the elves with <laughs> that work with Nick Ron and Pete there to get the uh, the toys to to the Marines so they can be distributed. And if you're holding a holiday party or you're having anything uh, within your own office building and you are trying to get a hold of the Marines because they just go absolutely crazy this time of year with donations, it's much easier just to reach out, call Cardi's. They'll come out and pick it up, or you can. Bring Bring it to them, and they'll get it to them. So awesome. that is happening uh, throughout, obviously, through the end of the, uh, the 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 holiday season here, you know, right up to the twenty fourth. But uh, specifically Thursday in South Attleboro with Cat Country ninety eight point one, and on Saturday, West Warwick with B one hundred one, South Attleboro with Coast ninety three three, and Swansea will have ninety four HJY. So check it out. <laughs> Today's wicked tasty suggestion is actually something that you can do to help feed others because, you know, this is the time of year when, once again, you're hopefully really in the spirit of giving. And the Rhode Island Community Food Bank is having their holiday open house. Now, you can bring a food donation 
and learn all about the work that people at the food bank do. This is a family friendly event. So if you're someone like me who's trying to implement, you know, these these ideas and these feelings and the idea of this season to your young kids, you can also bring them. So you get to tour the food bank. Cool. It's uh, pretty, pretty neat. They're going to have some different things for kids to have it really fun as a tour. There's going to be live music by the Vox Voices of Christmas. Oh, cool. There is going to be a touch of forklift. Can't can't beat that. Seriously, that would be so fun. Take a photo with Paws, the mascot, of course, of the Paw Socks. And you get to sample recipes from their community cooking nutrition education program and participate in a nutrition project. So once again, this is in Providence. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Saturday from 9 to noon, the holiday open house. Um, There's going to be free holiday refreshment. So don't worry, you won't be hungry at the food bank. They'll make sure to help feed you as well. But it's just a great way to know when you do make those donations, whether it's at this open house or through various activities throughout the year what actually happens at the Rhode Island Community Food Bank yeah a lot of people don't understand the 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 way it works there and how it flows and you know people don't directly get donations from for food from the community food bank they work with a network of of, of distribution points throughout the state uh, but the community food bank does process the, the largest amount of food in the state they also have the a, an amazing buying power so when you know people make a monetary donation they can buy things in bulk and things that they really need saying, okay, you know, we have so much of this item, but we don't have enough of this item. So let's use those funds to make sure we can keep a, because you have to make sure that you're giving healthy food out as well. Uh, And then uh, the the other thing is people don't realize is they actually have a cooking school, a training program at the Rhode Island community food bank, training people who are looking or interested and who want to be trained. And from there they can get jobs uh, working as chefs in some of the finest Rhode Island restaurants, wow. so they have they have something to the to the effect of a ninety percent employment placement rate. Oh my gosh, uh, it's it's huge! So great people over there at the Rhode Island Community Food Bank, definitely check that out. That's right. No matter where you are in the state of Rhode Island, you are never more than 18 and a half miles from either the ocean or the Connecticut or Rhode Island border. So we've got a couple of great events that are happening just over the line, beginning with the Connecticut Trolley Museum, their Winterfest 2017, and the Tunnel of Lights. Ooh. Now, this started uh, last week or two weeks ago, rather. It's a it's a it's a new addition this year to the trolley ride. It's, it's a tree light show that is synchronized to music. Winterfest will be open from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., you know, all throughout the month. And if you follow the link, we can give you all the dates and everything. Uh, But it's pretty cool. You can join hundreds of of folks, you know, families, friends out there for a trolley ride during the holiday season, whether you ride in a closed car or you brave the the snow to ride in the one-horse open uh, electric sleigh. That's my style. There'll be a a few more than just one horse there. You know, it'll be electric. Uh, But it's a great time, you know, and you can uh, can sing carols as you go through. Uh, You can meet uh, and pose for Santa inside one of the historic trolleys. Will there be hot chocolate? I am pretty sure that they will have hot chocolate if there is a train. I mean, the only thing that's really missing from this entire thing is Tom Hanks. Right. So uh, there'll be decorations (laughs) galore there'll be wonderful uh gifts you can purchase as well something unique now listen this is the connecticut trolley museum which is about 15 minutes north of hartford so it's a little ways into connecticut it's probably going to take you an hour and a half to get there from rhode island from providence i get lost okay so is that south or is that southwest no that's right hartford's right smack dab in the middle of the state okay yeah, now that's strike like diagonal. That, that, that is, uh, di- well, I have no <laughs> idea. It is literally you take the state and you point in the middle. That's where Hartford is. Okay, and uh, and and so it, it's kind of in the middle of the state, you know, left to right and top to bottom. Uh, and then so to get there, I've gone to Hartford a number of times. Once you hit the line, once you hit the border, uh, going into Connecticut from Rhode Island, it's about an hour okay so it's not that bad no um but it's well worth it visit their website get all the information because this is truly something this is something unique it's something you know you can't really get anywhere else Mm -hmm. uh they have a lot of uh wonderful 
you know, attractions as part of it. So what kid doesn't love trains during the holidays? Amen. What else do we got going on? So listen, if you find yourself wanting to have a little getaway this weekend, want to do something a little different, you might want to head on over to Martha's Vineyard. Heading on over to Martha's Vineyard at this season, this weekend especially, is really rather special because in Edgartown and Martha's Vineyard, they do Christmas up. Wow. They make Christmas such a big deal. It's going to be Christmas at the Lighthouse, a winter wonderland lighthouse tour. You get to sit back and enjoy a guided over sand vehicle ride along the barrier beach to the remote Cape Pogue Lighthouse. Did I say that right? Mm. Nice. You get to keep your eyes peeled for signs of snowy owls. Now, you get to have a warm drink inside the lighthouse, climb the lighthouse's spiral staircase. You get to hear different stories of the keepers of the light. This here's, is here's a, a tip. Yeah. Drink your hot chocolate after you do the climb, Why? not before. Oh, gosh, it's a lot of stairs. <laughs> well, no, it's that and two. It might be a, it's a bit of a workout, but it's, it's yeah. really cool. <laughs> so this is really a great event. And I have some friends who live on Mather's Vineyard and they've told me time and time again, that Edgar town around Christmas time is stunning. So if you need a little weekend away, you're going to want to go there and check out Christmas at the lighthouse uh, in Edgar town, Mather's Vineyard. Yeah. And you can, when you get the, when you get to the vineyard, you don't have to worry about transportation. There, there are plenty of taxis. There's plenty of ways to get over there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Folks, as we said at the beginning, everything we talked about today can be found on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any events or photos of events that you want to share, please tag us and use the hashtag Wicked Roadie. For advertising and sponsorship information, please email us, wickedroadypodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, folks, I'm Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. And you've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>